Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mess Up Gaming. We're going to take a look at Mega Mech today. In fact, Mech HQ. So this is kind of in a couple different parts. Um, Mega Mech is the program that actually runs the combat. And essentially, it's one off, one battle. You set up what you want, your mechs, your, your victory conditions. You play through. Just like you'd set up a, a tabletop game, right, on the board. Mech HQ is a level above that that runs a campaign. And then it sets up, and when a fight needs to happen, it sends the um, required kind of setup over to Mega Mech, which then fires up and, and you play your combat, right? Essentially, that's how it goes. There's also a, a Mech Lab, um, which will let you kind of customize and build your own mechs and do a lot of stuff too. But I believe there's tie-in with this as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to start a new campaign. Um, and we're going to try to start our own campaign, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I do have my Terralingua race team here um going on right that was uh carol shelby's team right uh the joke the the guy that pitched it to him the artist that pitched it to him that did this who is still around and does still have uh in fact i, I bought some stickers and t-shirts and stuff from him he said he pitched it as saying it was it dated back to the first um uh, race in Terralinga, Texas, I think is where it was supposed to be. I think that's where the name comes from. And it was like two ox carts running down Main Street. And so it dated back to whatever. And, and he, I think the comment was he never he was never sure if Shelby actually bought it, but he liked it anyway and they ran with it. So I, I've always had a thing for the kind of the bunny rampant there. All right, we're going to do, um, I think we're going to do 3025, um, you know, because why not? That's kind of, you know, I know it's kind of dark ages, but let's for our first one, let's keep things more or less simple and brutal and uh, we'll just start January 1st. All right, we're going to do the official against the bot. That's what ATB here is. Uh, so these are default settings for against the bot campaign. Uh, there's all sorts of other stuff here um, based on the campaign and non-starter guide. Okay, docs ATB. And it's a great preset for players new to. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll do that. Default settings. Um, I don't have any idea... Let me pull up this docs ATB really quickly and we'll see if we can find that. All right. I would like to point out that there is a lot of documentation, which I did not realize existed, that's in here. So we've got all sorts of stuff. There's a snare, a template editor, SNM's tips for basic play. Uh, let's, let's, I don't know who SNM is. Um, posted by SNM on the CBT forums. Um, Center board restrict. Interesting. Okay. Basic battle tech rule, uh, you know, thoughts. Um, there's a, a make a mech HQ tutorial here, which we are going to uh we're gonna skip, but it's nice to know that it's here. We've got nice table of organization equipment, briefing room, interstellar. Um, we might might leave it open in the backdrop, just in case. But we're looking for ATB against the bot. Um which one did it say we were needed to read? Uh, it's based on the campaign non-starter guide. Guide is located in the docs ATB. I don't, I guess that's this right here. Um, eighth published version. Uh, I played it as Zottles random allocation tables. Nice. People are using those in the mods for, sorry, all the dogs are up and running. I'm dog sitting again and, my dog and the other dog are all running around and shaking their collars and letting me know they exist. They're very cute. I should have the camera on, but you're just going to have to live without it for today. Um, uh, anyway, we use those uh, in, in MechWarrior and uh, Battletech as well for a lot of mods to determine, uh, you know, who, you know, um, op fours and stuff like that. Uh, another presented, okay, against the game, oh, bot overview. Starting your first con. Wow, this is really good, actually. I might have to read this on my own. Um, but we're going to just kind of... Um, we're going to wing it. I've watched a couple of videos in the past. Um, I went back and rewatched Quill 18s, which are not, to be fair, are not the best. Because um, he doesn't know what he's doing either. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to go with this. He did He did the official ATB. We're going to do this, this one right here. Because, you know, it says it's our... our our first option. And you can see there's some additional ones here as well. Uh, MechWarrior 2-ish. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're going to go here and we're going to say, okay. And we'll see where it takes us. Uh, we do have some various camos we can pick, ways to make things stand up. And we're going to do that. I do have some extras that I downloaded. 
uh, as well. So we've got basic, we've got all sorts of good stuff. Interesting. Uh, okay, those aren't bad. Anyway, there may be a lot of extras in here that we don't really care about. Planet Homeworld stuff, okay. Palm Star, nice. Some various corporation paint schemes. All right. Uh, some of these are for specific uh, campaigns or... Uh... Wow. Okay, well, there's a lot of these. And I assume if I really wanted to, I can make my own and import it in here probably pretty easily. Um, kind of like that. Where was it? I don't know where it was now. There was one in here I liked. Uh, those aren't too bad. Um, okay. I'm going to close that again. Uh, let's go, I don't know, textures. Wow, those are kind of nuts. Warhol camo. You know, these aren't too bad. That, you know what, let's go, let's go with this. Just, you know, to pick something, right? And we need a unit icon. Um, well, I think, well, we are going to be... Where are we mix? Go here. Oh, okay. So this is for everything. Um, yeah. Um, formations. Okay. Military. And we have a bunch of these. Um, adjustments. Wow. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. I think those could use a little bit of work. All right. Well, we'll, we'll just go with what we've got for now. Uh, yeah, our campaign, I think I'm going to say, you know, my uh, baby's first... Mech Tech Campaign. Oh, no. Uh, mech. We'll say Mega Mech. There we go. And we're going to be a mercenary. We could be all sorts of stuff. Um, but we'll just be a mercenary. We could be pirates. That might be fun at some point, too. Uh, unit Rating Method Campaign Ops. Okay. Um, this is the Field Manual for Mercenaries, which was one of the... Um, Battletech books. I actually did look at purchasing it. Um, it's not in print anymore. I believe it's an old FASA one. Um, so it can be expensive. Uh, we'll just go campaign ops. I'm not honestly sure what the difference between them is. Uh, let's see what else we want to do. Uh, I'm not sure. There's a lot here. Um, use era mods for repair rules. Faction specific era mods. Uh, we'll leave it for now. Um, supplies and acquisition, waiting period, only support personnel. That's fine. We, we'll live with that. So when you want gear, you go looking for it. You know, the, I think Quill called it the eBay or the Craigslist of, of, you know, the galaxy. You know, you go looking to acquire for those. Uh, you need support personnel. They're the people whose job it is to go looking for it. So it's their acquisition checks. Now you could say that, you know, maybe you're, everybody gets a chance to find it. You know, they all have their own connections. You know, people come from other mech units. Maybe people, you know, have, have come out of different various things and they could they could potentially get a hold of something for you. But we'll leave it for there right now. Um, tech limits. I'm not going to mess. Most of this we're not going to mess with. I'm clicking through it as much to show you that it exists and there's a lot of it. Um, then, uh, I mean, look at this. Marriage surname waits, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know what edge is. I don't know why would you, uh, why we'd use it for, uh, allow personnel to have edge. Uh, they're edgy. Um, finances, pay for parts, pay for repairs. Uh, we'll just leave this for now. Uh, mercenary, again, I don't know what I'm doing. Skills, special abilities. There's a lot here. Rank system, we can build our own rank. Um, there's one second star league ranks are in here. Is there another one we'd rather use? Plan, com star, custom. Uh, 
Miles, Miles Probate, Miles Gregaire. Okay. Interesting. Legionnaire, Centurion. Okay, so Roman style. Orion, Recruit, Corporal, Section Leader, Force Sergeant, Lance. I like that. Let's go with this one. I like the Lance Sergeant. Hornet. Well, I don't know what some of those are. Uh, Air Master. Okay. So these are your, interestingly, so you've got Enlisted, Warrants, and then officers, I assume, right? Uh, Second Star League is what we originally had. Naval Tech, Mech Warrior. Interesting. Okay. So in the Army, you know, it's private. Private as well. <laughs> private First Class, Specialist, Sergeant. Right, and then you you work your way up. There's there's not twenty, that's for sure. Um, they give you some extras there. Uh, and then obviously second lieutenant, first lieutenant, and then in the army, um, you go to captain would be O three. In the navy, I think that's an O six, maybe colonel equivalent in the army, something like that. Um, of course, they've they've skipped some steps there for you, but. But those are ranks I recognize, so we'll go ahead and confirm that. Or we'll live with that. Name and portrait generation. Uh, use origin faction for assigned names. Okay. Um, we just have a general faction at the moment. 50% female. I'm fine with that. Um, portrait generation. Checked personnel types will have a random portrait assigned for them upon creation. So right now we've got the mech warrior, the doctor, and the mech tech. I'm fine with that. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's go with that. Personnel market, uh, I don't know what Dylan's method is, but um, sure, there is an against the bot one there as well, um, but we'll go for that. And some specific against the bot stuff. We are going to change the difficulty down to green because we do not know what we're doing. Um, and then we'll, we'll kind of go from there. So let's go ahead and let's confirm. See what happens. Okay, we're going to want to go to the GMO because initially we've got nothing, right? Um, I don't think we have any money. I mean, we can take a look. Um, yeah, we've got, that's our net worth is zero. We've got no cash. We've got no equipment. We've got no pilots. We've got nothing. So we're going to want to go into GM mode. And marketplace, let's go ahead and purchase unit, I think. If we go to unit market, I believe this is what would be for sale locally. Yeah, this is what we could buy if we were not in GM mode. This is the stuff that is available where we are. You can see there's a there's some tanks on the black market. Uh, there's some mechs and tanks on the mercenary auction. And then the open market, again, three mechs and a tank. So um, that's, that's the way. And it would be the same way for personnel. These would be the three people that would be available to hire right here. So we're going to just go to purchase unit. And we're just going to kind of find what we want to find, I think. Um, we're going to be looking for just mechs initially. Um, I'm fine with the introductory box set. Sure. Um, and we're going to want to go uh, armor unit. Huh. Not quite what I was looking for. All right. Well, we'll cancel. I think we're going to do two lances. Um, we'll do like a medium lance and a recon lance. So I'm going to sort these by weight initially because uh, we're going to want to come up with those. I mean, I guess we could sport by price, right? Let's horn it's the cheapest. You know, and in my head, I had like maybe some javelins, um, something like that for our light recon lance. They've got arms. You know, when your piloting sucks and you tip over and you're a mech with no arms, it's hard to stand up, which is funny because... Uh, Quill got hit with that where his, his Jenner fell down and the pilot sucked and he couldn't stand up again. He just take more and more damage. Um, so we could look at something like that. I'm kind of interested, like, what is a... So Javelin, a 10A, cost 23. So about double what a... Not quite double. One and a half times what a Hornet or Locust would cost or a Flea would cost. So we could go with that. And you can see here, there's the era, standard... Tech rating, that's uh, okay. 
Um, movement. So this is how many hexes you can move walking and running. And if they could jump, there'd be a, another slash and a jump. There's the armor. This one has two machine guns and a medium laser. Uh, there's uh, This one is what? Probably our lasers one. LRM and then... Oh, and then the 1E. Um, I don't think it's... Oh, maybe it does, actually. 1E would be energy. 1M would be missiles. Uh, 1V... I don't know what that's supposed to stand for. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, so we could go with something like that. Uh, we could go with some commandos. I would like something initially that can jump. Now we don't want to make things we've had we've had life hard on us already, and this is going to be difficult. We're we're I do not know what I'm doing. Um so I'm kind of thinking we go with maybe just four javelins for this first lance. Maybe a couple with the lasers, uh an an LRM and an SRM. This should be the SRM one. Yeah. So let's go add GM. You can see we can't buy it because I don't have any support personnel that could that could acquire it at the moment. Uh, and that's why. We're going to add, add. Oh, wait. So now we could come over here. We should be able to add new force, I believe. And we'll say recon. Uh, there we go. Okay. And so now we could give it a, so now we can, uh, not sure how hanger, maybe let's see. How do we add it to something? Hmm. I think it has to happen here. Maybe add. No, that's not what I want. So here we could go. Oh, actually, yeah. I mean, what we could do is we could make this the the company. Let's let's change this. Um, we'll call this. Uh, uh, let's see if I remember how to spare Taralinga. Don't. Hold on. Terra Lingua. All right. Let's go. Oh, I guess we could change it here. Change name. Terra Lingua. Um, let's let's stick with racing team. Our 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 history is we started out modifying and racing labor mechs. Right, and we've made some money off of our winnings and selling our highly tuned race mechs. So maybe our pilots, at least for this recon lance, have really good piloting. Maybe our gunnery's kind of crap, but our piloting is really good because we're we're there and we have a good mechanic. Um, I think that makes sense. And then maybe the medium lance is people, excuse me, people we've hired and stuff like that. Maybe they're not quite as good. Um, so we'll go there, right? And so then we've got this. That'll be a recon. And we can add one more. We can add a new force and we'll call it, um, uh, it'll be our medium lance. Uh, we'll just, we'll just call it the medium lance for now. Maybe it'll come up with a cool name at some point. Um, you know what? Hold on. This could be Viper Lance, right? Because Viper is a larger ripoff of a Cobra. Right. And in fact, the designer flat out says it's a ripoff of the Cobra. Um, I believe ripoff is actually the term he used even. And this will be our Cobra. Cobra Lance will be our Recon Lance. Okay. Whoops. Oh, I messed, I messed that up somehow. Hold on. Change name. There we go. And then this one. There we go. There we go. All right. So now this, how do I add stuff to this? We can change its icon. It's 
So we could go um, like say it's gonna be a light lance with. Oh, okay, so we could go. Oh, nice. Okay, augmented lance, lance. So there we go. We could do like that, right? And then this one we could change force icon and formation company two different colors like that Logos, we could, oh yeah, we could definitely bring in our own logo here. Um, but let's see if there's any cool logos we like in here. So these are all pretty standard so far. Um, I might have to see, because these are just PNGs. I wonder where these live. I'm going to, all right, we're going to take a little bit of a detour here. I'm going to see if I can import one of my logos into here and see if we can get that to work. Um, I'm going to say just select it for now. So hold on just a second. Let's go digging into here. Let's go uh, data uh, images, maybe. Units. No, that's not what we want. Um, force, probably. a good way to kind of look real quick so there's an hq okay i like that um formations all right not really what i'm looking for but that's good to know they're there inner sphere all right um military no Brigade, battalion. Okay, but there is one. We could just put the company, COY, in there. Good to know. If we didn't want to put a logo in there. Interesting. No, that's not what I... I'm not going to want that. Fluff. Art. No. Let's see. Where do we think it would be? So it's under force. So it's a force icon logos, force icon logos. Let's see if we can figure that out. Data. Found it. Okay. So let us. Okay, we'll, we'll open this one. Open with uh, Photoshop. This will get us a... Uh, how long have we recorded? We've been going 25 minutes, and I'm still making a unit icon. Okay. Let's go... Uh, come on. Bring that up. There we go. Okay. They're little. They're little, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead, and I'm just going to grab a little box here. Delete. Uh, we'll fill with white quickly. All right, add a layer. Um, we could run the bomber bear. He might be a little hard to see on this size. Oh, oh no, no, hold on, hold on. We'll we'll grab our terralingual race team. Again, I don't know what it's going to look like. Small, right? Let's go. Um, select all. Edit copy, come over here. Uh, paste, edit, transform scale. It's gonna take us a while, it's, it's big. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna, we're gonna delete some stuff here. Um, let's make this one pixel, there we go. Sure. 
sure that was a black line fading into a into the white backdrop at some point. I'm going to, whoops, it's not what I want. I want this. And then I'll go for a paintbrush. And we'll just go for a normal paintbrush. We'll just go size one. And I had a little bit. To give it the rest of the point, kind of, sort of. I think that'll work. All right, let's go file, save as. Uh, PNG. Oh, I'm going to have to export it as. Hold on. Uh, file export as PNG. Oh, now i got to figure out where the heck it goes. All right, give me a second. All right. Change force icon. Logos. I don't know if it'll load. It probably has to reload. Um, we might have to leave the game and come back. That's fine. For now, we'll leave it as it is. Um, I'll just give it a gold background for us, right? And then we can go um, special frames. Oops. We have our company there. Drone, drop ship. I'm just going to add headquarters to there for now. But we'll add something later. And then this one is going to be uh, change force icon. We're going to go uh, mech medium. Formation lance. And we'll select that. There we go. Now, we still haven't figured out how to add stuff to this. So, I've got to figure that out. I wonder if I have to add pilots to it. Maybe that's the problem. Hmm. Let's try that. Let's go marketplace. Now we can bar bulk. I can't talk. Bulk hire personnel. Um. I would like to hire personnel. We need some pilots. We can, or we can just go hire mech warrior. Let's do this. Let's start this. All right. So this is our first guy we've come up with, and we could hire him. The first person can get some extra tactics because they're, in theory, your commander. So he's got a piloting of four and a gunnery of three. And I believe you want those numbers to be lower. So we can go to edit statistics. So we go piloting, yeah. Yeah, as we're going down, it goes up. So levels makes it smaller. I'm going to go piloting of three, gunnery of four. Let's flip those. So he's a decent pilot. His gunnery's not as good. He does have some... What else does he have? He's also got some tactics. And because he's our leader, I'm also going to give him one level of strategy. I don't know what means anything. I don't, I don't know what strategy is going to do for us. It just seems like something he should have. You know what I'm saying? 
So I'm see, and we could give a, get a pilot that has like scrounge or something like that. That would be one of those where we saw where we could check the text, the only support personnel can buy stuff or can acquire stuff. If we had somebody scrounge, we might we might want to do that or turn that off. So uh, Oliver Verink, um, male Merc, he's from Galatia. Fine, that will be our new guy. So we're gonna hire him. He's got no injuries. Okay, I think I hired him. So if we go to personnel. Um, I did not hire him. Okay, let's try this again. Hire MechWarrior. See, now she's terrible. <laughs> oh, I needed hire GM. Let's 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 regenerate. Uh, let's regenerate till we come up with a, a somebody with good piloting. Whoever has piloting of three, I don't know how often we're going to get that, if ever. We're getting fours and threes the other way around. We're just not getting piloting, gunnery, aircraft, small arms, tactics. Wow, she's a badass. Doesn't really fit our 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 backstory though. Like, well, I mean, I guess we could fly aircraft. That wouldn't necessarily be terrible. Um, let's edit though. And once again, I want her piloting to be a three and her gunnery, gunnery can stay at a four. And I'm going to give her a little bit more. I'm going to give her some strategy. She's already got tactics. I'm going to give her one level of strategy. I don't know what it does. I don't remember. Um, we're just going to say, okay. And now we're going to go add GM. All right, and you're terrible, so we'll, uh, again, we want somebody decent piloting for these first. I don't really care about anything else, um, but I would like, you know, they don't need to be threes. Four is fine for these. Five. You also have tactics. Interesting. Look at you. Range master. All right, when making, oh, that's pain resistance. When making consciousness rolls, one is added to the rolls. Range modifiers are swapped with short range. Oh, wow. You're interesting. Okay, I'm not sure I want you, well, small arms, tactics plus three. Maybe you're going to be in charge of our, you're really good. You shouldn't be just a Joe Schmo. So maybe we'll make Yesenia um, our, our other Lance commander, right? Um I'm just going to add anybody with a, I guess a five. No, we're, we're going to, we're, we're going to, yeah, that's fine. Let's just, let's just add them. Oh, you're good too. Okay. Sandblaster, you like 10 X's. Well, we're not going to have any of those for a little while. Melee specialist. All right. All right. So that got us, that's got us a couple things. So. Now, uh, I don't remember who was first and who was second. Uh, XP, XP, XP. Not you. Were you our first one? Yeah, because I give you strategy. So let's go ahead, change rank. You're, uh, you're going to be the captain. Uh, and we have one more that was really good. You're going to be... Um, are our pilots going to be officers? Is that what we're saying? Um, or, uh, I mean, you're going to need some other ranks in there. I'm going to make our Lance Leader a, a Lieutenant. I'm going to make her a, a Lieutenant. Now, these are going to be maybe, uh, uh, maybe we make these Corporals. And we could. There we go. Something like that. That'll be fine. We'll have to figure out what our rank structure looks like. But that gets us at least I can look at and go, okay, I know who I know who those people are. So can I change you to Mech Warrior? Assigned a unit as pilot, Mech Light. Um Yeah, we'll give you that one. 
Oh, that wasn't who I was thinking I was on, but okay. That's fine. Uh, Captain. Uh, assigned to unit as pilot, mech, light. Oh, because those are the only mechs I have, therefore you have to go to light. Okay. Um, we'll put you in that one. Okay, so now if we go to T, O, and E, add unit, light. There we go. Figured it out. Add unit, light. There we go. And only the people that aren't in something at the moment show up as an option. Nice. All right, well, give me a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and we'll... I'll get some medium mechs, and again, we're gonna we're not gonna go for anything terribly expensive, but I'll grab kind of a selection of of kind of middle level ones, I guess. Um, I like the fact that we maybe we could even change names on some of these. So, uh, you know, like this one is number two, so we could not looking to do that. Edit quirks. Well, should we see if it has any quirks on it? It does, uh, it's unbalanced. And uh, that's all I see. So it's got a negative quirk. Okay. So piloting skills are going to be worse due to terrain. Eh. Uh, what I was looking for was if I could change the name. Uh, tag is a custom unit. Name unit. Yes, okay, so we could give it a unit name. So this one is Fire Javelin 2. Um, I don't know what we call this one. Um, but that's what I was looking for, for now. Maybe we come up with some names for, for some of these as we go. All right, well, give me a few minutes. I'm going to go buy some more mechs, and we'll be right back. All right, so we've got four mechs, four pilots. We've got a Blackjack, a Centurion, a Trench Bucket, and a Shadowhawk. I figure those are just good, standard, traditional starting mechs, you know, for the game. Uh, and then we've picked up a few pilots. So if we go to Personnel, uh, we can go... Oops, there we go. So uh, you've already seen Lieutenant J.G. Yesedio Castra. Uh, she's pretty good, and she does have long this long-range thing. So I'm going to... Um, I put her in the blackjack with the AC2s. I like to keep my commanders back a little bit generally anyway, so that makes sense, although we didn't we didn't do so up there, but that's okay. Um, we also have uh, Alex Truell, uh, five and four for gunner. He's got a little bit of small arms, toughness. He has the skill, but no points in it, I guess. Um, so not too bad. Uh, we've got Antar Binyasser. Uh, again, five, four, nothing in toughness, four arms. Uh, Small arms, I said forearms. Yeah, I guess we all have forearms, but uh, it's, a, it's a benefit. Uh, and then we've got Susanna uh, Marinetti here. Uh, so four and three, plus three tactics, and she has dodge. Um, so enables to make a dodge maneuver instead of a physical attacks. So we'll see. I did put her in the trench bucket, which is an SRM version. Uh, and so uh, you can see uh, right here. Uh, so maybe dodging is a little bit bigger of an issue for her. I mean, who knows? Um, this one doesn't have any quirks or anything. Uh, sorry, take it back. It's got easy to maintain. So bad reputation. The blackjack has a bad reputation. I don't know what that does for us, but okay. Um, fine. It's our lieutenant in there. Uh, the centurion improved targeting for short and non-standard parts. Uh, we might have to come back and see if we can add some, get some pictures in there. Some of them have just the overall, the, the top down that shows on the map. Some of them have some, some pictures like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, trench bucket easy to maintain. Shadow hawk battle fists improved life support. Rugged, ubiquitous uh, for both the inner sphere and the clans. Um, so the shadow hawk has a lot going on for it. And this is uh, AC five version. A couple mediums, LRM five, a couple SRM twos. So anyway, there's that. Now we're gonna need a few more people. Uh, let's go for uh, we'll just say all personnel. So let's go marketplace um, hire. We're gonna need some support admin uh maybe we'll do two maybe we do a command and hr and a logistic and transport 
So let's let's do that. So let's uh, five four. And let's just kind of click through a few of them and see what they look like, generally speaking. Um, I'm just not quite sure what we're going to get. Administration is a six. And obviously we want lower eagle eyes. It's not going to do anything for us with this character, but it's interesting. Um, admin eight. Yeah, we'll, we'll just... You look good. Caillou? Q? We'll call him Q. Q Edwards. So we'll hire him add and then i'm going to want one more um hold on let's go close let's let's see where are you here let's go uh somewhere in here is admin isn't there admin there we go uh change rank uh we're going to make you a lieutenant you are in admin and command so we're going to go ahead and uh we'll just make a jg for now uh, and you are going to get a second ability. So your primary rule is admin command. And then I think admin HR will also work there. And now let's go ahead. We'll hire our next one. And in this case, we want a logistics and transport person. This is a person going to be buying our stuff, right? So uh, we'd like you to be decent. Also eagle eyes. Interesting. Uh, small arms and administration. Oh, let's just go here. I think this is fine. Malik Malika. Um, we'll go ahead. We'll hire. Do we not have administrator? I guess they don't get a picture. Ah, that's fine. Close. And we would like you to also be a Lieutenant JG. Oh, wrong one. Change rank. Lieutenant JG. And then we are going to give you a secondary role of transport. There you go. We can see those two roles there. Uh, and then I guess... Let's see, do we have the option? Do we do we have to hire you like we did the others? Award spend doesn't look like it. Uh, you have an XP. What can we use? Hold on, let's let's spend XP, special abilities. Okay. So we, we couldn't get anything quite yet. Interesting. All right, that's fine. Um yeah, I guess we don't have to do anything with them. Go to TO and E. Do we can we put them? There's no higher. Huh. Okay. All right. We're gonna need a few more people though. I'm gonna just go back to all real fast. Uh, we're gonna need a doctor. So we'll go ahead and hire a doctor. Uh There we go. Uh, we'll kind of generate a few of them and see kind of what we get. Four, six. Doctor five. Not good with small arms. Interesting. I'm fine with that. So instead of small arms, he came out of artillery. Yeah, let's let's just hire you. Okay. There's our doctor. And uh, I don't think we have to do... Maybe the doctor will give a little bit more rank. Maybe we'll make you a regular lieutenant. Senior grade instead of junior grade. Um, and I don't think we have to do anything else with you. Yeah, I think that's there. However, what we can do now is we can go to medic pool and we just bring all medic teams to full strength because um, you do need uh, some medics to go with your doctor, right? Just like we're going to need some, some Aztecs to go with our, our technicians. So that'll get us four temporary. We're not going to hire them individually. We got the doctor. He's got a name. These are just nameless people running around behind him. You know, they only get, they, they don't generally have speaking roles, right? So then we're going to go marketplace. Now we're going to need some techs. So I'm going to go for, um, if we can find it here, mech tech. Uh, and I'm going to go for two of them. One for each lance, I think. Uh, we do want a decent one We for for the, the, the light lance, right? Because that was our, our guy or gal to make our racing mechs, right? So you are decent. So we'll kind of look through um, eight, six. How about that? Five was the lowest we've seen so far. Uh, studied human has a given type of... Hold on, I didn't read it. Giving a piloting unit bonus, supplies plus one, determining... Uh, well, we, obviously we don't care about that, but maybe he learned that while, while racing, right? Um, yeah, let's just... We'll hire you. And then we'll... Uh, We'll hire you. 
Okay. So, uh, where are we? Regular veteran, veteran. Okay. Change rank. Uh, I'm gonna make you uh, make you a corporal as well for now. Right, and then. You're getting assigned, assigned to unit, Aztec, Mech, Light. I think I can do all of them, but we'll, hold on, we'll, we'll figure that in a second here. Assigned to unit, medium, there. Now let's, let's bring you up. Oops. Um, is there a way to... I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. Um, I just don't know what it is. Uh, I'm going to go to text if I can find it. There we go. So you've got two units so far. Signed to unit, Aztec, Mech, Light. There. All right, so they all have that, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, hire, uh, bring all our as all tech teams to full strength. So now you can see we've got we've got twelve there. So we've got techs, we've got admin, we've got pilots, we've got a doctor and a medical team. I th we don't have any money. Uh, we do need to give ourselves some money, and I'm not. Let's go to finances, um, manage assets. Uh, no, let's go add funds. Rich uncle. Sure. Uh, and I don't know, actually have any idea how much we should have. Uh, I'm going to give ourselves 2 million and we'll see. We might have to play with that, but let's see if 2 million works. Um, oops, where's miscellaneous again? Rich uncle, add funds. There we go. So we've got two million in. Um, so our total net worth now is 13 million, right? We've got 11 and a half mil in mechs, another two million in cash. Uh, asset wise, we might want some repair parts. Um, I'm not sure quite how we do that. All parts. Um, let's go marketplace, purchase parts, uh, and get ourselves like, I don't know, like, uh, Get ourselves a couple of those, um, maybe a couple small lasers, a couple medium lasers. Um, LRM5, SRM6. I don't know. Is there anything else in here I need? So much crap in here. So much stuff. Look at all that. Okay. Um, armor? Do I need to have a... We should probably have some armor, right? Um, standard, just regular standard armor. Um, five, ten. Yeah, I don't know how much we're gonna need. Let's let's just add some armor in there. I think that'll be fine. Ammunition. Um, I think we got some AC five, maybe some AC tens. Um. Give us a little bit of ammo to start with. There we go. So we've got some parts, some stuff. And again, we go back to finances. That should now show up under uh, cash, max spare parts. So we've got 500 grand in spare parts. All right. I think that's everything. I'm going to turn off GM mode for a minute. There's Mech Lab. We, can, we, could, we don't have anything loaded, but we could look at something. 
um, our infirmary, our repair bay, there's nothing needs work. There's our warehouse, our hangar, our personnel, our interstellar map. We're right here in Galatia. Uh, our briefing room. So can we, we want a new contract. Is this me building one? Hold on, let's go. Contract market. All right, we've got two of them here. Uh, this will pay our... We get a 25% advance. They're going to pay our fee for our Mercury, uh, Mercenary Review Board. I don't remember what the C stands for. All right, so we've got a Draconis Combine against the Federated Suns, and we've got an Arugit, Arugan Directorate against the Capellans. So this one's a planetary assault. This one's the, uh, an objective raid. And we can see Draconis against the Federated Suns, objective raid, location. It's 162 days to get there. Um, our allies will be regular. Uh, this is how good a mech they're in. This is how good a pilot. A is the worst, F is better. Um, so good mechs, pilots are regulars. Uh, that would be essentially when we get there, it'd be three months long. Uh, overhead's gonna be paid for. Uh, command rights. I'm not sure what I'm not now there's a number of command rights and I'm not sure what house means. We'll figure it out. Transport terms are gonna pay 100 percent of our transport. We get 60% salvage, 80% support, so we can pay 80% of our support costs, you know, our doctors uh and techs kind of salaries, that sort of stuff. They only need one lance. Uh base pay uh 21 million. Base is okay, so total. So 19 million there, overhead. Straight support, transportation each way. That's the expensive bit. Just getting there is the expensive bit. Um, transit amount, there's the fee for that. Uh, advance, they're going to give us $5 million in advance. Okay. 75% total. Okay. Now let's take a look at this Arugan one here. This is, um, how far do we have to travel for this one? 146 days. Our allies are green with good mechs. Their, our enemies are elite pilots and not as good a mechs. Interesting. 100% transport, command rights is integrated, full overhead compensation, 100% transportation, 60% salvage, 10% battle loss. They're not paying any of our support. They also need one lance. Um, I kind of like this Draconis Combine one. I think this is going to be... Let's, let's try accepting and see what happens. Oh, and we're going to uh, Conroy. So if I go to Conroy, will it pull it up on the map? It will. And then I say calculate jump. 19 jumps. 12 days to the jump point. 17 from the, the jump point into Conroe. Most of our time is going to be charging. It's going to have a cost of 8 million. Uh, I don't we've got seven million on us they're paying a hundred percent but it sounds like they're paying us maybe we need to take a small loan out let's let's try that let's go finances let's go get a loan i'm gonna ask for um i don't need 10 million so that's like three million uh interest collateral so as i play with collateral it goes up so if we put up, say, 100% of the collateral, which would be three mil essentially, right? We're gonna pay essentially, what, 34% interest over a year we're gonna pay monthly? Let's go 1 million more just to make sure we have enough to get there with our monthly payments. Yeah, let's go ahead and add that. Because why not, right? I mean, and we're going to go ahead and uh, begin transit. And we'll see if we have any money at the end. So now, I, I think we've begun transit. Yeah. So now I can advance a day, right? We're... I'm not sure that anything's happening. Are we moving? Are we going somewhere? Calculated our jump path. We began our transit. Oh, we had to pay all of it up front. 
So we're now in debt. Oh, well, there's our dates going by. In transit, 12% charge. So now we can go, um, let's see, there's a way to skip days. Advance multiple days. Let's open that up. There we go. So we could do like a week at a time, right? Because we got a long ways to go. When are we supposed to get there? <laughs> um, I'm going to skip. Let's see. Uh, star chart population. Where does it say when I'm supposed to be there? And it's telling us what's happening. Oh, here. Hold on. Let's let's open this up. So it's telling us what's happening here as well. Um, so as we go through, right, this is us spending time getting there personal markets updating, all that sort of stuff. Advance to next Monday. Oh, we can just advance to next Monday. There we go. Uh, but again, I'm not sure what time we're supposed to get there. Year length, day length, surface. Um... Six twelve, and what's today's date up here okay all right so let's go back to advance multiple days uh 22nd 23rd 24th all right so this will be at the bottom here so we've jumped to breed april we're into april all right let's take a look at this our tech is doing maintenance on the max right they have to get whatever they get. So we got some XP for people, I guess, just for existing. Um, that's fine. Uh, I, there's probably a chance they get XP while they're doing something. Um, hard to say. All right, so Corporal Ramon Rivera performed the maintenance there. Overall quality got a B, right? Uh, overall quality improves from C to B on that Javelin. Nice. This one remained at a C. This one went from a C to a B. All right, and then on our mediums, stated a C, stated a C, and this one went from a C to a B. All right, your account's been dedicated for peacetime operating costs. We've paid people. Um, your account is, has been debited for overhead expenses. Okay, so that's us getting... Uh, and for our Sarna. Okay, we are, we are in debt. So we're going to advance to next Monday. So you have to have... They're paying you for the transit. You have to have the transit in your bank to begin with, right? So that's what we've learned. <laughs> So let's just keep going. April, what did I say? We have till uh, April, May, June 6th or something like that. Isn't that what I said? Is it over here somewhere? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. 12th. June 12th. April. Yeah. All right. Remains a B. Remains a B. Overall from C to B. So all of our light mechs are now Bs. Um, no change there. Cs and, and the one B. Okay. April, now we're, so they're, they're do that at the end of the month, it looks like. May, end of the month. B, 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 B. All right, one more has gone from a C to a B. The Centurion is. Nice. Blackjack Centurion Trippers. Oh, and the Shadowhawk, probably because of its easy maintenance perks, doesn't have to be done every month. It appears to be done every other month, right? Because we didn't see it the first time, we saw it the second time, and now we're not seeing it. All right, so we are now up to June 7th. Let's just go. Now we're June 14th for one day. Okay, well, that's a little bit. Briefing room. Uh, we are here, 612, right? So maybe it's going to take till Monday before everything updates. We've got our two forces here. Uh, I'm going to put this one. How do I... 
Yeah, they're both on that mission. So we could send different ones elsewhere. Interesting. Oh, here we go. So you're on scout, and we'll put you on fight. The contract only needs one on scout. I guess I could put them both on scout. Or I could put them, put them on training while we do that. We could rotate. One week we could put one on, and the next week we could do the next. That's not a terrible idea, actually. Okay, well, let's let's go advance day. Uh, we'll, we'll get to Monday, probably, at some point. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. All right, nothing happened. You have a pending battle. Where does it say that? All right, hold on. Do you wish? No, I don't. Um, I would like to see. I don't see the pending battle. I think it should tell it down here, right? Um, where where's the mission? Man center, T O N E. Oh, here it is. I don't know why I didn't update, but here it is. Pending recon attack. Okay. So, Draconis Combine Allied start. So they're gonna, we're going to get a fire starter with us. That's part of the command uh, deal, right? Um, so Allied. I don't think I'm controlling this one. I think it's just Allied so they control it. But that's fine. Fire starter is great. Um, a Dervish, a Griffin, and two Vendettes. Okay. 5-5, five, five, that's a good pilot. 2-3. And a Griffin. All right, interesting. Four sixes. Okay. Uh, they also get air support. <laughs> Heavy strike, meteor, medium strike. I don't know how this is going to go, if I'm, if I'm honest, guys. Um, all right, it is. We are the attacker. This is the Cobra Lance. It's going to be light urban, town generic, 50 by 20. Uh, lights at night? I do get a reroll. We go reroll, dusk dawn. I like that better. Okay. Bad lighting is going to really add to our gunnery skills, and theirs for that matter, right? Um, so wind is calm, no fog. Uh, deployed by your Falling units deployed by your employer must survive. Each one destroyed in a one, each one destroyed, probably supposed to be, is a one point penalty to your contract score. Okay. So we don't want the fire starter to die. Sure, at least 75% of individuals from the following units survive. So total, um, we need 70, well, essentially we need four of the five. So we could lose one unit, right? We are supposed to move one unit to the east map edge. Remain stationary for two turns and then return to the west map edge. Uh, 1d6 minus two bonus rolls if victorious. Defender controls the battlefield. So we are not controlling the battlefield. We're coming onto the map. We're, we're checking it out and we're leaving. So we're gonna start on the west. We're gonna go one unit to the east and back. Everybody else could delay or protect that one unit while it does whatever it does. And then we're gonna get some bonus rolls if victorious. All right. Okay, well, let's just drop and see how it goes, right? So let's see, we go here. How do we do it? Um, give me a second and I'll figure out how I'm actually supposed to take the mission. All right, well, the issue is it's the 19th and it doesn't happen until the 20th. So we're going to advance one day. You have a pending battle. Yeah, to... yeah that's fine. So now, n why did it skip two days? I wanted to advance one day. We were on the 20th. We were on the 19th. We went to the 21st. Why did it do that? I don't know what happened there. I don't know why we didn't, why we went.
I'm taking a victory. Because I don't know what's happened. I don't know why we went from the 19th to the 20th. Now, what happened is we should have hit here. That gives us the option to start. But because we weren't on the 20th, we were on the 19th. Um, we didn't have that option, right? Here, can we, we'll just make it bigger. There we go. Um, because we were on the 19th, it didn't give us the option to start it. We advanced one day and it took us to the 21st. Now it did say, hey, you're going to miss, you know, if you fail, you'll be okay. But, but we shouldn't have failed. We should have gone to the 20th. All right, I'm just going to advance a day and see what happens. 